Happy Self Care Tuesday with me, Shanna. It's another week. Every week during the quarantine, I have been coming to you on Tuesday to try to encourage you to use self care. It is so important, especially during a time like this. Quarantine has kind of created a trauma in everyone's life where we're like, what are we supposed to do? And in my profession, as an advocate, we talk about trauma bonding, how where more than one person is in a traumatic situation, they bond over that. So even though everyone quarantined separately, we still have this in common. And not just as a community, not just as a country, but in the world, we have all trauma bonded. And that can bring up a lot of feelings, and feelings are good. That is why today's message is, I feel. How do you feel? I mean, you might be experiencing some loss. You might be experiencing some joy at things reopening. You may be feeling grief over all the things that you've missed or, or trips or other types of uh, special life moments that had to be canceled or even holidays where all the activities that are a part of our tradition for so many years are being rescheduled. All of those things can create feelings of loss and grief as well as anger and frustration. And when it comes to feelings, happiness, joy, those are all socially acceptable emotions. But when we talk about some of those ones that are a little darker and frustration and social injustice and anger, all of those things people kind of shy away from and they don't know how to respond or how to react in those situations. So today, let's talk about how do you feel? Well, I feel this way. So when you are getting ready to have a conversation with somebody, I mean, as people, sometimes we just got to get it out. I mean, it's better out than in. That's what Shrek says anyway. I think it's about something else. But the point is this. When it comes to those feelings that you are feeling, sometimes if you keep them bottled up, they can explode like a volcano. And you know what volcanoes do, right? They destroy everything in their wake. Well, if you don't want to be a volcano, expressing those feelings on a regular basis in a safe, healthy way is very important. So it's important that you don't just react, but you respond because respond takes thought. SAT, stop and think. Okay. And when I go into the uh, schools and I talk to students grades K through 12, generally with the younger group, I talk to them about feelings. I talk to them even about anger. And it says, is anger bad? And some think yes and some think no. Well, when we associate anger with violence, yeah, that can feel bad. But anger is a normal, healthy emotion. And, and sometimes you're angry and you're justified in that anger. And that's okay, as long as you choose to respond and not react, that you express those feelings in a safe, healthy way. So I tell, tell the kids all the time, as long as you don't hurt yourself or others or steal or destroy your property, then yes, express that anger. Those are the three rules when it comes to anger and making sure that you're expressing it in a safe and healthy way. You're respecting yourself, you're respecting others, and then you're respecting everything around you. So what does that look like? I mean, because I get it. Sometimes you just got to scream. Well, I'm outside right now. I could just scream. Now, my neighbors might look at me and wonder if I'm okay, see that I'm perfectly fine. But if I feel like it's bottled up and I just have to let it out, then let it out. That is a safe, healthy way to do it. If you're feeling angry and you feel like you just have to break something, they actually have these rooms now where you can pay to go into this place, break some stuff, and then they clean it up. Or you know what, maybe check into volunteering on a demo crew as they're like revitalizing the communities. Do you know what, I, I, I'll come in, I'll do some demo, I'll knock some stuff out. Or go and get a pinata and just beat the crap out of it and then you get candy at the end of it. I mean, that's a win-win right there. So maybe you feel like you have to punch something or kick something. Right now, sports aren't going on, but doesn't mean that you can't try, that you can't, um, maybe you might not be able to go to the batting cages, but you can hit a ball in the backyard, right? And just swing at it, right? Or with punching, that's what punching bags are for. People like to spar, you know, they have like some of that boxing equipment and stuff. So that is a safe way of expressing that and letting it out, especially after, after quarantine. I say after quarantine as is if it's over, but it's not. As things are opening up and we're finally able to kind of let loose and just breathe a little bit, whew, letting off those emotions, all those things that we've pent up over the last couple months, that can be a pretty scary thing, right? And maybe it, it takes just one little thing 
and I don't want to say little, but sometimes it can just take that straw that breaks the camel's back. And maybe that straw has built up and built up and built up and built up. But there can be a catalyst to light a flame that just sets it off, right? So it is important to just take a deep breath and make sure you ask this, yourself those questions. Am I keeping myself safe? Am I keeping others safe? Am I making sure that I'm not destroying everything in my wake as I'm expressing those feelings? Okay, and, and here's another question, especially when it comes to relationships. You make me mad when you do this. Mm, no, when you start off with you make me mad, those are fighting words. And nobody can make you do anything. You still have a choice. Now, your choice might have consequences, which are natural consequences, good, bad, or indifferent, but nobody can control you. Not even your emotions, unless you let them people or your emotions. So you have to make a choice, a conscious effort that you are going to be in control of your emotions. You're going to find a safe way to let it go. Don't let it build up. Don't volcano and destroy everything in your wake. Let it out. Express yourself and, and trauma bonding and connecting with other people that are like-minded and sharing your thoughts and your feelings together and forming that bond, that community is very important. So Take care of you. That's the that's what self-care is all about. And use those two words which are very powerful. I feel. Validate your feelings and your emotions. Know that even when you say it out loud, even if it's to yourself, even if you look at yourself in the mirror and say, Wow, I'm having a really bad day. I feel really frustrated, angry, upset, whatever it may be, scared, sad. All of those feelings, it is okay to feel those feelings. It is okay to tell someone how you feel. It is okay to own it. So that is another Self-Care Tuesday with Shanna. I hope that you subscribe to our channel. Hope that you tune in next week where we will talk about rest. When I say we, I mean Fairhaven, but me, Shanna. We'll talk about rest and why rest is important to reinvigorate your mind, body, and spirit. And with that, I'll see you next time. Have a great day.